Good morning and welcome to our home. Good morning. We're glad that you're joining us for this Sunday morning devotion. And we invite you to join in our prayers, responding with the parts of their own mold. The world belongs to God. The earth and all its people. How good it is. How wonderful. To live together in unity. Love and faith come together. Justice and peace join hands. If Christ's disciples keep silent, these stones would shout aloud. Open our lips, O God, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Holy God, maker of all, have mercy on us. Jesus Christ, servant of the poor, have mercy on us. Holy Spirit, breath of life, have mercy on us. Eternal God, maker of the skies above, lowly Christ, born amidst the growing earth, spirit of life, wind over the flowing waters, in earth, sea, and sky, you are there. O oh, hidden mystery, sun behind all suns, soul behind all souls, in everything we touch, in everyone we meet, your presence is around us, and we give you thanks. But when we have not touched but trampled you in creation, when we have not met but missed you in one another, when we have not received but rejected you in the poor, forgive us and hear now our plea for mercy. Let us in silence confess our faults and admit our frailty. Before God, with the people of God, I confess to my brokenness, to the ways I wound my life, the lives of others, and the life of the world. May God forgive you, Christ renew you, and the Spirit enable you to grow in love. Amen. Before God, with the people of God, we confess to our brokenness, to the ways we wound our lives, the lives of others, in the life of the world. May God forgive you, Christ renew you, and the Spirit enable you to grow in love. Amen. Move among us, O God, give us life. Let your people rejoice in you. Make our hearts clean within us. Renew us in mind and in spirit. Give us again the joy of your help. With your spirit of freedom, sustain us. O God, open to us today the sea of your mercy. And water us with full streams from the riches of your grace and springs of your kindness. Make us children of quietness and heirs of peace. Kindle in us the fire of your love. Sow in us your fear. Strengthen our weakness by your power and bind us close to you and to each other. And now, as Jesus taught us, we sing. Our, Our Father, Father in heaven, heaven, hallowed be your, your name. name. Your, your kingdom, kingdom come, come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us, give us today our daily bread. Forgive, forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. With the whole church, we affirm that we are made in God's image, befriended by Christ, empowered by the Spirit. With people everywhere, we affirm God's goodness at the heart of humanity, planted more deeply than all that is wrong. With all creation, we celebrate the miracle and wonder of life, the unfolding purposes of God, forever at work in ourselves and in the world. Let us pray Psalm 78, alternating verses. Hear my teaching, O my people. Incline your ears to the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth in a parable. I will declare the mysteries of ancient times. That which we have heard and known, and what our forebears have told us, we will not hide from their children. We will recount to generations to come your praiseworthy deeds and your power, O God, and the wonderful works you have done. You work marvels in the sight of their forebears, in the land of Egypt, in the field of Zoan. 
You split open the sea and let them pass through. You made the waters stand up like walls. You led them with a cloud by day and all the night through the, with a glow of fire. You split the hard rocks in the wilderness and gave them drink as from the great deep. You brought streams out of the cliff and the waters gushed out like rivers. This morning's reading comes from the book of Exodus. Listen now for the word of God. The whole Israelite community broke camp and set out from the Sin Desert to continue their journey as the Lord commanded. They set up their camp at Rephidim, but there was no water for the people to drink. The people argued with Moses and said, give us water to drink. Moses said to them, why are you arguing with me? Why are you testing the Lord? For the people were very thirsty for water there, and they complained to Moses. Why did you bring us out of Egypt to kill us, our children, and our livestock with thirst? So Moses cried out to the Lord, What should I do with these people? They are getting ready to stone me. The Lord said to Moses, Go on ahead of the people, and take some of Israel's elders with you. Take in your hand the shepherd's rod that you used to strike the Nile River, and go. I'll be standing there in front of you on the rock at Horeb. Hit the rock. Water will come out of it, and the people will be able to drink. Moses did so while Israel's elders watched. He called the place Massa and Meribah, because the Israelites argued with and tested the Lord, asking, Is the Lord really with us or not? For the word of God in scripture, for the word of God among us, for the word of God within us. Thanks be to God. Dear Holy One, the mysteries of ancient times fill our souls. You have worked marvels and have helped your children to work marvels. For this we thank you and see you at work through so many good people, particularly our presiding bishop, Michael Curry. His message shines as a splendid example through our troubled world. May the coming feast of St. Michael be one of special benefit and meaning for him. For this we pray and thank you. Bless all leaders of faith everywhere and keep them well and safe as they lead us through the deserts of confusion and fear that mark our days. May their well springs never run dry. For this we pray and thank you. Praise to the firefighters who have quelled the raging infernos some of whom have lost their lives. May their souls rest in peace and the families of all those lost in recent fires find peace and resolution in this terrible time. We express gratitude for the rain, for clearing and cleansing the scorched air. May our minds and hearts be cleansed as the summer ebbs away. Let us pray also for those who have too much water through flood and extreme weather. Guide those who need assistance to find what they need, spiritually and materially. Restore the crops of the farmers, so that there will be food enough for all. For this we pray and thank you. Hear our heartfelt prayers for teachers and students working with the new approaches to classroom life. Help all to be patient, attentive, and responsive to what must be taught and learned. Please help those in daily care of children to be alert and selective as to what is best for young minds and guide us all in using technology wisely and for the greater good. For this we pray and thank you. Touch the hardened hearts of some who are in power and help us all to discern the true and deepest teachings of what it means to be a child of Christ. To you, O Lord, we lift our souls. O God, we put our trust in you. We also pray for those in our hearts whose need is present. And all those on our parish prayers. John, John, Brian, Challen, Tom, Tom, Eleanor, Judy and Doug, Marilyn, Marilyn, Lindalina and Jim, Vanita, 
Karen, Karen Mary, Mary, Joyce, Judy, Judy Martha, Martha, Kelly, Evelyn, Sarah, Tammy, Tammy Janet, Janet, Ian, Susan, May Jean, Cheryl, Patty, Cynthia and D, Fred, John, Autumn, Catherine, Karen, Michael and family, the family of Lilla Bell, Lorinda, Christian, Cecilia, Margaret, and for those for whom no one prays. We pray for the soul of Ruth Bader Ginsburg and for the peace of her family and associates who must now make their way without her direct guidance. May all who have recently lost loved ones, especially the family of Lilla Bell, rest in the knowledge that you, dear God, take no pleasure in the death of anyone and that, indeed, the soul is deathless. Lead us to a deeper knowledge of your greatness and a gracious acceptance that bodily death and upheaval can lead to the gateway of true knowledge and infinite wisdom. To you, O Lord, we lift our souls. O God, we put our trust in you. Let us pray for those celebrating birthdays this week. O God, o God our times are in your hand. Look, Look with favor, we pray, on your servants, James Donder, Karen Eberly, Amanda Reed, and Kathy Anderson, as they begin another year. Grant that they may grow in wisdom and grace and strengthen their trust in your goodness all the days of their lives. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us pray for those celebrating wedding anniversaries this week. Celebrating God, whose love enfolds the whole of life, who calls to union with you and with one another, and who in creation bless the partnership of marriage. On this wedding anniversary, grant to your servants, Dennis and Lynn Baker, and Mike and Sally O'Brien, and to all who celebrate with them, thankful hearts for all that is past, joyful hearts for this day's blessings, and hopeful hearts for what is still to come. In the name of God, the Maker, Son and Spirit, one, one God. God in community. Amen. Longing for communion that we may soon be able to join each other to celebrate Eucharist, let us do the spiritual communion prayer. Faithful God, in the wonder of your wisdom and love, you fed your people in the wilderness with the bread of angels and sent Jesus to be for us the bread of life. In this time when we cannot gather as a parish family to share these gifts of bread and wine, the body and blood of Christ, we ask you to come spiritually into our hearts. I unite myself to you and embrace you with all my heart, my soul, and my mind. Awaken also our spiritual memory and imagination so that we may also feel your presence as we call to mind each other's faces, voices, and stories. For we believe that nothing, neither death, nor life, nor things present, nor things to come, nor anything else will be able to separate us from the love of God that binds us together in Christ Jesus. Amen. God of all who wander in the wilderness, you go before us as beacon and guide. Lead us through all danger. Sustain us through all desolation. And bring us home to the land you have prepared for us. Amen. Amen. Closing responses. This is the day that God has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. We will not offer to God offerings that cost us nothing. Go in peace to love and to serve. We will seek peace and pursue it. In the name of the Trinity of love. God in community, holy and one. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. And we hope you are receiving our emails in case those of you who have Gmail 
to check your promotions folders or send me an email or call me and I'll help you get those emails. Two new things that we're having is our service, the traditional, the recording at 10. We have hymns, so that will be an opportunity for you to join us in singing. We'll have the words on the bulletin. And the second thing is that we're going to start having in-person worship services. We're we're gonna have, we started last week, yeah. So we're going to have 8 a.m. Uh, on Sundays and also the Thursday um, noonday prayer and the Friday centering prayer. In the email, there will be links to signing up for those services, and we're going to have them open from now until the end of November. So we would love to see you in person. We still have to maintain distance, so there will be um, limited seats in the church to maintain six feet of separation. They're all marked. And they're all marked. And also, um, we ask people to bring their face masks, uh, face coverings, and there will be a hand sanitizer as you enter. Uh, trying to be as uh, cautious and but at the same time having an opportunity to start slowly together for our pers- in-person church services. So check those out in our email. God bless and have a blessed Sunday.